everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick update on CES 2015. Of course, the Consumer Electronics Show is about to begin, but NVIDIA has already made a significant announcement, and you're looking at it right here. It's the Tegra X1. This is the uh, follow-up to the K1. It's more power efficient, but more importantly, far more powerful overall. As you can see, NVIDIA, much like the K1, used their desktop class GPU architecture, carried it over to the mobile world, and that's where we get the NVIDIA Maxwell 256 core GPU. Now this is unheard of for a mobile processor, and in terms of performance, it comes through of course in gaming, but in just about everything else as well. In terms of the actual chip itself, it is a 64-bit ARM chip with regard to architecture, 8 core, that's a 4x4 configuration. Most impressive though is that it is capable of handling, beyond of course general raw computing power at the mobile level, uh, 4K video at 60 frames per second. Now this is unheard of for the mobile market, this is a first, and that's why NVIDIA, I guess, wanted to get it out of the way. I don't know if anyone else at the show plans on demoing anything with that capability, but NVIDIA already making sure they were first to market with the most powerful, at least 4K, at 60 frame per second capable mobile processor. Keep in mind, this only requires 10 watts of power, and that is simply amazing. So not only are we getting a tremendous leap in terms of performance, literally just about twice the performance of the Tegra K1, which is still one of the most powerful mobile processors, but we're doing it with less power. Uh, and again, that support uh, for 4K video uh, and 4K out is something you will not find with any other mobile processor. And in terms of applications, it's pretty much limitless, folks. This isn't just going to be found in tablets uh, or in smartphones, but what about automobiles? And that was a very big part of the demo uh, that NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA's CEO uh, basically showed off during uh, the keynote. Uh, but really, the X1, if this is where things are starting, uh, especially from my coverage of CES 2015, then we have a lot to look forward to, let's hope, because this is already a tremendous leap, a jump in performance for just about every device in your life uh, other than desktop and uh, laptop computers. But further blurring the line, though, between the performance of each class, much like the Tegra K1 before it. And you can see, again, all the specifications right here uh, in terms of uh, every single detail but the fact that we're looking at a mobile processor that reads like a desktop GPU is frankly insane. I mean, EX12 support, that's a Windows 10 feature, and it's already here in the Tegra X1. So NVIDIA making sure to be out at the front of the class, and it appears, at least also from the uh, demo that I saw, the Unreal demo, uh, that they are right there. Uh, so incredible performance. Things are only going to get better. And this is the beginning of what should make for a very exciting CES 2015. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.